WWE Backlash is this Sunday, and the show is going to take place in the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. So a Jersey crowd, certainly not a New York crowd, and it's certainly not going to be the crowd we saw this past week in Montreal. So um, that kind of crowd, it's it's more of a typical WWE show. I mean, more of a typical Raw or SmackDown crowd, so um, very much not anything special. Just a, a tame crowd, to be honest, normal crowd. The show, um, it's been it's really weird. So we're about four weeks removed to WrestleMania. And that's kind of a quick turnaround for a show because there's so much follow after WrestleMania. It's the biggest news uh, cycle in WWE. So much happens. And then this year, you have the Greatest Royal Rumble. So that was basically, WWE spent way more time building up the Greatest Royal Rumble than Backlash. That was a much bigger priority than Backlash. This show feels like such a throwaway show. It's because like we came off of WrestleMania, a major stadium show, the biggest show of the year, WrestleMania. We all know it's, WrestleMania is like completely different. So many events. We had like a thousand hours of wrestling that weekend. And then you go back uh, in like three weeks, less than three weeks later, you do a major show in Saudi Arabia, a very controversial show in another stadium. So now it's like backlash. It's just kind of like just another, you know, it's it's a, such a smaller scale pay per view compared to the previous uh, two shows. Um, and the card they have here, um, you have AJ Nakamura in the main event, which, you know, they, they should have a really good match. Um, but the rest of the crowd, the the card, it, it's okay. It's like nothing special to me. There's a lot of matches I'm not looking forward to. But there's other matches I think will be some sleepers on the show. So uh, to start the uh, the card, we have Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So um, you know, I don't think there's any way Owens and Zayn would win cleanly, but there is a way that Strowman or Lashley would turn on each other. Maybe Lashley turns on Strowman and they feud, but I don't see that happening. Lashley's only been back. He's only been back for a month. Yeah, he's not losing. They're not going to beat Lashley. He's a big monster, and there's no way in hell Braun Strowman's getting pinned unless Vince McMahon literally uh, loses his mind. And I, don't, I think that's happened a long time ago, but... I still think there's still some sanity for him to not beat Braun Strowman any time soon. So, uh, Strowman and Lashley, I think, win. I, th- I don't know if they might feud. I guess they're going to be a tag team now. It gives them something to do. I guess they can turn on each other and feud in the summer or something like that. But, um, I don't see uh, much hope for uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So, I'm going to go with the Monsters to win. The big monster, Strowman and Lashley. We have Daniel Bryan and Big Cass, and I'm sure this match is probably going to piss everyone off because it's probably going to piss me off because the way I see it happening is Big Cass winning. Um, I'd like to be wrong. The way they've built it up, Bryan's had no heat on Cass. I mean, it wouldn't shock me if they do some shit finish where like Big Cass beats the hell out of Daniel Bryan and gets himself disqualified. That could happen, but I think Vince McMahon loves Big Cass. He loves big guys. He loves Braun Strowman. He loves Baron Corbin. He loves Big Cass, all these giants. Um, and he's going to push him. And I think they want to push Cass heavily. I think Cass would be better on Raw than SmackDown. I think he'd fit better. But um, I don't think he fits at all on SmackDown. I think he's going to beat Daniel Bryan. And W's think, oh, it's going to get him so much heat. It's going to get him a whole bunch of heat. And uh, they're going to piss everyone off by beating Daniel Bryan when he just returned. Uh, like, not like when he announced his return. A month, six weeks ago, something like that. Not that long ago, six, seven weeks ago. So, um,. I'm going to go with Big Cass. I hope I'm wrong. Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe in a match that, uh, it's a very interesting match. They should have a really good match. I think they, they I think this match would be really cool on the street fight. I think this could, like, be an awesome brawl if they would just beat the hell out of each other and they, like, use blood and just beat the crap out of each other. I think that could be really good. But, so, um, here, Joe, it's interesting. Um, when Logic says, are they going to beat Roman Reigns again? He lost the WrestleMania to Brock Lesnar, lost again at the Greatest Roman on the Cage match. Is he going to lose three straight pay per views? Are they going to beat him yet again? Is he going to lose to Samoa Joe here? I'm thinking no. Um, I think Roman Reigns is going to win. I think it's going to be a really good match. Crowd's going to shit all over Reigns. He's going to get booed out of the building. I'm sure the announcers are going to give us. You see, they don't really hate Roman Reigns. They like him. They're just booing him because it's fun. I'm sure that's the WWE bullshit. They'll feed some of the fans when you watch the show. But uh, I think Reigns will win. I don't see him losing again. I think they're not going to beat him so many times. They're not turning him heel. So what? You're going to keep beating him? For what reason? He's going to be your top guy still. Um, even if they push Braun Strowman more for short term, I still think Vince, I mean, Reigns is Vince's guy. I, I don't see him losing again. So I'm going to go with Roman Reigns here. I, I don't see Joe winning this. Um 
I don't think this is going to be, um, again, like a no f- contest because uh, this is a one-off. Right? Reigns is going, staying on Ron. Joe is going to SmackDown. He's on SmackDown now. So I th- this is a one-off. So um, I'm going to go with Reigns and the way Joe's been demeaning him on the mic. <sighs> you can just hear Michael call, The big dog slays Samoa Joe. Yeah, dude. That's going to be fucking horrible. So uh, then we go to Carmella against Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's title. So this is an interesting match how this goes. Um, I'm not looking forward to the match at all, even though I love, uh, I think Charlotte's amazing. Um, I love to watch her wrestle, but Carmella, I think, is uh, not good at all. I think she's just, she's there because of her luck. She's there because she wears a bathing suit. And Vince loves hot blondes with big tits. That's the only reason she has her push. Nothing else. Not on the mic. She has nothing on the mic. She sucks on the mic. Not on the ring. She sucks in the ring. She's there because she's a blonde with big tits. She got like a, I don't, I mean, she's beautiful, but I don't know why she needed to get so much uh, face, or, you know, cosmetic surgeries and not necessarily just boob jobs, boob jobs. Like, you know, she's not like Alexa Bliss, you know, having to uh, be enhanced. It's like she's more enhanced her face. And, you know, she's already a beautiful woman. I don't see why she's had to have so many surgeries. She looks like, you know, a porn star that's had a million surgeries. Um, in this match, again, I think I, I don't, they're not going to take the belt off Carmella. They just put the belt on her. Um, I think Charlotte's not going to get it back so soon. I think she'll. Uh, I mean, she's been champ so many times. Like she, she never really has like a soup. She's had a long reign, like this last reign, but it's usually you know she has she's won the belt a whole bunch of times. Hasn't really held on to it for a while. I don't think she needs it right now because I think she's going to get it in a year from Ronda Rousey or something. I think that's going to be the big match. So I think it'll be a screw finish. So I can see uh, the iconic Billy Kane, Peyton Royce making a run in here to help Carmella win, and I think something can happen where Oscar and Becky come out to make the save to even the odds. But then Oscar does something to screw over Charlotte. That's how I'm going to say it happens. Oscar inadvertently cost Charlotte the match after the iconics come, and Oscar and Becky will come to help Charlotte but then Oscar will mess up and Carmella sneaks out a victory so Carmella wins then we go to Nia Jax uh, defending the Raw Women's title against Alexa Bliss so the match at Wrestlemania it's the rematch uh, the match I mean no one paid any attention to the match at Wrestlemania that was like the crowd I mean it wasn't really a horrible match they were working hard I'm sure they rehearsed the match for like two months because you know all the women have to rehearse their matches um, <laughs> in NXT but I think they were um they rehearsed it heavily, and the crowd just did not care. It was a fine storyline. The whole PSA for building was not good, but they're doing that again. I mean, Alexa Bliss has been great at the moment of Bliss. It's just like, she's, she's really good. It's just when these two get in the ring, it's like, uh, I don't really care. And it's just not believable, so... um. I don't see Ronda Rousey or Natalia coming in because I already predicted a lot of shenanigans with the SmackDown uh, women's title match, so... Uh, I don't see Alexa Bliss winning, but I know Vince, you know, they, Vince McMahon and uh, Triple H and Kevin, and they obviously love her, and, you know, she's she's great uh, on the mic, but, um, and she's been, she was champ for so long, she just, I don't want to see her champ anymore, like, for a while, she just doesn't have to be champion anymore, it's like, she was about, had the belt for so long, and they pushed her, like, to the moon, they gave her just a massive push, obviously, because of her looks, but, you know, she was really good on the mic, and she's not bad in the ring, she's fine, it's just... I don't. I think it's best to keep the belt off for like for. I mean, I don't know. Like for a very long time, I don't need to see her with the belt for a while. And let's hear, let's see her. You know uh, how she's if she's able to uh, be successful without the belt. But Nia Jax is winning, and Nia Jax and Ronda Rousey teasing something is not just any tease. They're gonna probably have a match uh, at SummerSlam or something. I think Ronda will face a tie for so Nia Jax retains. Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton for the United States title. Um, you know, it's rare. I remember the 2008 Raw Rumble. They had such a disappointing match. It was 10 years ago. That match was very, very disappointing. And I had a lot, everyone had high expectations for it. And it was super disappointing. So here, you know, I'm expecting Hardy to win. I think Orange turning heel soon. I think Orange way better as a heel. He bores me to death as a face. And he kind of is boring as a heel too at times. But I think he works better. And I think he, he obviously enjoys being a heel so much more than he enjoys being a face. So uh, I think Red, Randy Orton will... Uh, lose i think jeff will win in some kind of roll up um won't be that decisive and orange will shake his uh will like shake his hand and he'll probably turn on smack now but orange turning heel i think hardy retains i think it's uh another step in the heel turn seth rollins and the miz for the inner crowd title i think this is pretty much the lock um there's no way in hell the miz is gonna win we don't need to spend much time on it um miz is on smackdown he's not taking the belt uh to smackdown uh because the, the, the u.s title it's 
Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton are having a match, and they're both on SmackDown for the U.S. title. So Rollins and uh, Miz for the IC title. I mean, they're not taking both titles there. I think Rollins wins, no doubts. Probably be open the show. It'll be a fun match. Rollins is really good. Uh, and I see uh, I see Rollins retaining. So I'm going to go with Rollins there. So now the main event, the match I expect to go on last. I think everyone wants to go on last. Uh, no disqualification now. WWE Championship, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, a.k.a. Nutcracker Nakamura. So... Their main eventing probably it's for the title. It's no no disqualification. I'm sure they're gonna have a great match. I mean, they've had the match at WrestleMania was so disappointing. It was oh, it wasn't really a horrible match. It was just it was such a letdown because that was hyped up for a whole year. Even though they didn't really build it on TV for a whole year, it was hyped up to like the hardest quarter fans. Like when Nakamura debuted the SmackDown after WrestleMania last year, everyone wanted to see AJ Nakamura WrestleMania 34. It, that's what the match everybody wanted. And WWE gave it to us. They had Nakamura win the Royal Rumble. And they have the match. And the build-up wasn't very good. But, I mean, everyone's still excited for the match. And it was super disappointing. I mean, it was just a fine match. But, oh, my God. Everyone was expecting, like, this all-time classic match. A match they had in New Japan. So uh, it was disappointing. And then they go back and they have a match at a greatest Royal Rumble. And it was way better. It was a much better match. However, the match had a shit ending. It was a double count out. So, you know, they they had they did with the double count out in order to, they had to build up to the match. So it, it was a much better match. And that gave me more hope for this match. So it is no DQ. I think they're going to go all the way. I think they're just going to go and just tear the fucking house and do everything they can. I think they're super motivated. I think AJ and Nakamura are very motivated. I think Nakamura should be more motivated because he's had a lot of disappointing matches and they had great matches and i think he wants to have a great match um and i, th- I think they will have a great match i think you'll see uh, i don't hope it's no dq so maybe i don't I hope we don't get like i don't want it to be a hardcore match or anything where you see chairs and steps and stuff and announcers booth but um I, again i'm not mind like more brawling wrestling on the outside that's fine so how this goes, um, I like AJ, but I'd rather see Nakamura win the belt right now. I think it would be awesome for Nakamura to win the belt. I don't see WWE doing it. I don't think they're going to put the belt on Nakamura. I think he's going to be a heel, an upper mid-card card heel, but he's not going to be pushed. I don't know if he's ever going to get the belt. Um, I'm going with AJ to retain. How I see it ending is... Uh, it comes down to AJ Styles getting revenge. You know, Nakamura has been hitting him with a low blow. It's going to end. He AJ Styles hits Nakamura with the low blow, then hits him with the phenomenal form. So he gets revenge on Nutcracker Nakamura. He take hits him with the low blow, hits his finisher, and AJ retains. So I'm going to go with AJ to retain. And uh, hopefully Backlash is a good show. Um, it's this Sunday, and uh, we'll see what WWE gives us. And... Uh, I'm pretty confident in my predictions, but I could be wrong, and um, hopefully it's it's a fun show.